Hey, hey everyone, happy dude here. In the last video, I've showed you some cheap stuff, but this time I've got a expensive model. It's the Toyota GT2000 from James Bond. You only live twice. It's in scale 118, uh, made out of die cast from the brand Auto Art. And this is the box. Okay, now let me show you the model. Now the car itself wasn't that memorable because the movie uh, wasn't that great. Um, but anyway, I think this is one of the most beautiful convertibles ever made. Even more beautiful than my favorite BMW Z8. So I looked up the price because I wanted to buy one and it's, it's just ridiculous. Oh my god, almost one million dollars and it's not even white or a convertible. Now the reason why this car is so expensive is because, well, it's a James Bond car, but this car was specially made for that movie. You see, you could only get this car as a coupe. But Sean Connery is six foot two, so he didn't fit in the car. So the production team asked Toyota, can you please make a convertible? And they did it in only two weeks. So there's only one convertible GT2000 in the world and that's why it's that expensive. And so apparently when a real car is very expensive the model usually is also pretty expensive. I paid 350 euros for this model so that makes it my most expensive model in my collection to this date. Uh, and it's also pretty rare. You don't find them um, that much on eBay or any website for sale. So I'm very happy that I found one. And it's in very nice condition, as you can see. All right, let's get on with the review. So, oh, it rolls very, very smoothly. As you can see, does it have a working suspension? Uh, a tiny bit in the front not so much in the rear okay let's see the bottom of the car oh wow wow look at that it's even got those burn marks on the exhaust wow that's very cool very nice and uh, very nicely detailed on the bottom Okay, so you already saw the side and the rear and the front, but let me show it to you anyway. Okay. And the dimensions of the car are... 23 centimeters long and 6.2 centimeters high and wow only 8.5 centimeters wide so this is also one of my smallest cars in my collection and the weight of the car is 562 gram or 19.8 ounce now the front wheels can turn left and right and it's a very smooth operation the tires also look very nice uh, the rubber is pretty hard but it's, it's not like, it, it feels like plastic, of course. Um, and the steering wheel does move with it. 
and it's on the wrong side of the car <laughs> but it is Japanese of course and here's a look inside the interior oh the doors go very wide open as you can see okay it's very easy to look inside since it's a convertible very nicely detailed uh, the seats are hard plastic i'm surprised by that we do have carpet on the floor that's uh, a bit of a trademark for auto art yeah very nice you even see the wood grain cool and in the back we also have some carpet very nice we also have some seat belts and here's the trunk and there's also some carpet in there and now the engine wow that is very nicely detailed okay i've put the car under some heavy spotlights so you can see everything better very very nicely detailed and here's the engine bay look at that wow now that is one beautiful looking engine it's only a two liter but it's got six cylinders in line and it produces 150 brake horsepower not bad for a car from the 60s it's really a shame that they don't make engines like that anymore and it makes such a beautiful sound <laughs> So this car will always be a dream to own in real life, but at least I've got the model. So I hope you liked this video, if you did please hit me with a like and maybe subscribe to see more and happy holidays!